Hello and welcome to Man on Football Manager with me, Dan. In today's experiment, I am asking ChatGPT to create a random 23-man football squad made up of only Premier League players. They will also pick any manager in the world to manage this team. So as you can see right now, I have got the question ready. I'm going to press the button and see what they come up with. So here we go. Wow. Okay, that's come out pretty quickly. So Jurgen Klopp is going to be the manager. We've got Edison, Allison, and Hugo Lloris as the goalkeepers. Wow, this is going to be a star team. The defence looks quite solid. People might say Harry Maguire is a liability, but he won't be on this game. And definitely not in this team. Holy cow. There's some talent in this team. This is like a dream team. If this team doesn't win a treble, I would be very surprised. I'm looking forward to this. So now I'm going to skip to the end of the first season to see how well this team does. I think this might be a free season job. I want to see how Klopp does with this team and he'll have money as well. One thing I never asked is what team to take over in the Premier League. Hold on. So here we go. I've asked, just asked this question. Pick a random Premier League team and it came up with <laughs> it came up with Wolves. So I expect big things from Wolves this season. So there we go, guys. I can't wait to see this. i catch you in a second. So here we are at the start of the season. And that transition would have took a couple of seconds. But for me, it took a long time to set this up. <laughs> so we have Jurgen Klopp as the manager. Ignore this with Ruben Neves and Kilman as the captain and vice captain. Because they are no longer here. If I click on players right now. You will see that the chat GPT list is here. It's a hell of a list. It's going to be a great season. It's going to be really interesting how Jurgen Klopp keeps all these players happy. A quick look at the wage bill. So big wages here for Wolves of all teams. It's going to be very interesting. I thought I'd quickly show you before I now transition to the end of the first season. Catch you in a second. So here we are at the end of the season. It's 11th of June 2023. And just looking quickly, Chelsea and Man City no longer have a manager. I wonder why. Let's have a look. So as I predicted, Wolves would win the Premier League. Which is great news for this experiment because they got 88 points. 27 wins, 7 draws and 4 losses. Only 4 losses, aren't we? Arsenal, Newcastle and Man United got the top 4. Man City, Chelsea and Liverpool are in Europa and the Conference League. And relegated this season are Bournemouth, Southampton and Brighton. Brighton, wow. Only on 24 points. That's insane. So let's have a look at the stats. Wow, okay. So that's a sea of gold. So Wolves got the most goals with 72 goals. Most points, obviously. Most shots, I'm not surprised, considering their front line and midfield. 546 goals for and 320 goals against. They had the most possession with 57%, 20 clean sheets. It'll be interesting to see which goalkeeper got the most clean sheets and fewest conceded with 25. And over to the players where Harry Kane got the most goals. Well, I say that, he's joint first technically. He only got 17 goals. That's quite low for the Premier League to be honest. Kevin De Bruyne got 16 assists. Harry Kane with the most shots. I'm not surprised with the delivery of these balls, but I thought he would have scored more. Maybe other strikers played. Let's have a look. I was going to say maybe other strikers played, but no, he played 37 games. He played pretty much every game this season, bar one. Interesting, the clean sheets were between a uh, joint between Chelsea and Man United, De Gea and Mendy. Allison played the most for Wolves with 31 games and 15 clean sheets. And in the Carabao Cup, Wolves won 3-0. They have won a double. Have they won a treble though? I did predict a treble at the beginning of this experiment, so let's have a look. Ah, oh, damn. They didn't win the domestic treble. So Arsenal won the FA Cup 3-1 against Man United. What about Champions League? Obviously Wolves won't be in the Champions League this season because they were nowhere near. But Tottenham, wow. Tottenham beat Man City. 1-0 to win a trophy. And not only a trophy, the Champions League. Wow. No wonder Pep got sacked, right? Wow. So I'm looking at the team. I want to look at the selection info. So who played the most games? 
Reese James played the most games, and I'm assuming that right back, obviously. So how many did Trent play? Because he was in this team too. So he only started two games, Trent, but played 31 off the bench. Wow. Reese James kept him out of the team. Same with Robertson as well. He only played two games. Well, he started two games, but only then came on for seven. Harry Maguire is asked to leave, and he's very poor, alienated from the squad. There's a lot of unhappy players, and I'm not surprised. Jack Grealish only played... Well, he started three and came on for 32. Got three goals and three assists. So who got the most goals? I'm assuming it's Harry Kane then. Yeah, Harry Kane got 26 goals, 7 assists and a 7.40 rating. That's pretty good. Foden, however, holy cow. 20, or 37 games, 20 goals, 6 assists and a 7.47. Salah not far behind with 13 goals, 6 assists and a 7.67. Let's have a look at less tactics. So this is the tactics that Klopp has used for this team. And that is a hell of a team when you look at it. And I know it's not accurate because they said Allison played most of the games in as goalkeeper. But still, even when you look at that, holy cow. I think a double is not good enough, to be honest. So, so far, so good. They got a double. I, want, I don't want to stop this until... I think they should get a treble. It'd be interesting to see who Klopp buys from now on. And who goes. So I'm not going to skip to the end of the season 2. I'm going to skip to the end of season 3. Will Klopp still be in the team? We're going to find out very shortly. I will catch you in a second. So it's been two years ahead of time. We are now in 2025 at the 8th of June. And Wolves have won the Premier League again. And they won the second season too. Judging by this side here in past winners. So they're, they're consistently winning the league. Chelsea, Arsenal and Tottenham got Champions League this season. And so did Man City, it seems. And West Ham, Leicester and, and even though Liverpool got 10th, weirdly, they're still in the Champions League. Oh, actually, they're still in the Champions League. How does that even work? Hold on. Someone won at least. Did Liverpool win the Champions League then? We're going to find out shortly. Uh, Nottingham Forest, Brighton, or well, Brighton came back up from the championship in the season two, but they've gone straight back down. And then Sunderland, with only six points, wow. Team overview, Wolves didn't get the most goals this time. They were joint first, technically, with 64 goals, but they had the most clean sheets with 19, and the fewest conceded with 26. Player overview, wow. Harry Kane dropped to eighth this time, with only 14 goals. This is... A little bit different than I was expecting. Haaland got the most with 22. We didn't get the most assists either. It was actually, I don't even know where any Wolves player is. Wow, how did they win the league? I think I have to dig deep into this season, it seems. And I've just realised my camera is covering some of these stats. So I'm just going to disappear for a second. Here we go. So no camera. You can finally see who's not played on this side. Apologies for that. So the most goals was Harry Kane for Wolves with 19 after 49 appearances. Just behind him is Foden with 18 and Salah got 15. The least played was Nacho. Okay, they bought some players. <laughs> Basically everyone they've bought has not played, which is not surprising at all. And this is how they've been playing them. This can't be the full strength team. And Neves, wait, did Neves... Right, I have to look at the transfers. So, so last season they spent 146 million. I'm not going to go through these, but I will go through how much they spent, which the highest was 63 million, and then transfers out is 30 million. And then this most recent season they spent 77 million, and with 86 million going out, Mason Mount left for Liverpool with 31 million. Laporte left to PSG for 44. Ruben Neves came back. He must have gone to Barcelona, but he's come back for for 27.5 million. Now, over to the competitions. In the Carabao Cup, they didn't win it in the previous two. They lost to Fulham in the fourth round last season. And then this most recent season, they lost to Man United in the quarterfinal. My camera is back. And in 2023, they lost to Leeds in the FA Cup third round. And then in this most recent season, they lost to Chelsea in the fourth round. How have they done in the Champions League? That's the biggest question. 
So in 2023 to 24, they lost to Atletico Madrid in the round of 16. And then this season, they lost to Real Madrid in the quarterfinal on aggregate. That's not too bad. That's not too shabby, to be fair. So they are only consistently winning the Premier League in the last three seasons. Jurgen Klopp is still here. Van Dijk is now the captain, along with Bruno Fernandes as vice-captain. I kind of want to do two more seasons. So let's see five. After five, that's it. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Catch you in a second. So let's see if I can get through this quickly because Wolves are going downhill, it seems. Liverpool won this most recent season. They won the league four times in a row, but they couldn't do it five times in a row because Liverpool won this most recent season with 83 points. All the other teams are strengthening. And it seems like Jurgen Klopp has lost his way with these superstars. This most recent season, they got the most goals with 71 and the fewest conceded with 31. In terms of players, they're not even on there. I'm not going to go through these now because it seems like Wolves are just failing. I'm going to quickly go through the competitions and then I'll look at the transfers and then at the squad. So Carabao Cup, they lost to Chelsea in the third round and then lost to Man City in this most recent season in the quarter-final. In the FA Cup, they lost to Crystal Palace in the third round, but this most recent season, they did win a cup. They won the FA Cup finally after beating Tottenham. And in the Champions League, they, they haven't won the Champions League, unfortunately. I was really hoping in this experiment they would win the Champions League at least once. They lost to Inter Milan in the round of 16 on penalties, and then they lost to PSG in the quarterfinal on penalties in this most recent season. They're really unfortunate on penalties. So looking at their transfers, in 2025-26, to they spent £74 million and £27 million pounds worth of players went out. £20 of that million was Kante to AS Monaco. Then in this most recent season, they spent £121 million, and this is the order of how much they've spent. Fabian from PSG for £63 million, which could end up being £80 million. And then 124, they made a profit of 3 million. 124 million pound out. Any of the original players gone? No, actually, the three players they bought in two seasons ago are now gone. I'm trying to find James Madison, it went on loan, and he seems to be the only one from the original experiment. And over to players, Phil Foden has scored the most goals for Wolves now 21 this season after 58 appearances and 9 assists. 7.57. Phil Foden's done really well for Wolves in the last five seasons. Mo Salah's still up there too with 19 goals, 12 assists and a 7.54. And Harry Kane, of course, 15 goals after 45 games, 5 assists and a 7.13. Bruno Fernandes with 12 goals and 12 assists. That's a great season for him. And apparently this is how they're playing them, but I don't believe that. It's probably because of the end of the season. Actually, no, looks about right. And this is how they've been playing them. It might be different due to injuries or travelling, but I reckon that's very similar to how they have been playing. Even after five years, this is still a solid team. So after five seasons, this chat GPT team won four Premier Leagues, one Carabao Cup and one FA Cup, but no Champions League. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, of course, subscribe to this channel too, where there will be loads more experiments coming your way. Thank you again, and catch you at the next one.